Originally released on Android and iOS, Package Inc. arrives now at the Nintendo's portable console, making use of all the touch potential. This is a title that is based on the tracks of an automation simulator where the objective will be to manage a company's deliveries, set in an abstract space with notes of real cities. The premise is simple but a little confusing at first, as nothing is explained. In this sense, the player will have to learn from their experience. There is a central warehouse that first receives the orders and then distributes them to the secondary platforms that are arranged differently on each level. Even if it doesn't change anything in practice, it's interesting to have some kind of difference between colors and shapes, and in this way, shape the city according to the needs of the company. For each delivery made, a monetary quote is assigned, allowing you to collect money to proceed with the upgrades of platforms and buildings. The upgrades consist of increasing the number of orders that each location can have in stock, and the speed of the distribution rails. The buildings always have to have at least one physical connection to the others to allow an efficient and fast way of transport. For every day that passes, the speed of deliveries increase, so the player will always have to adjust to the adversities that might arise. At the end of each day, a monetary value is also assigned that helps the player in maintaining his delivery system, because, of course, each upgrade increases the value of the next one, leaving a chain of values that in the end are quite large. Another help in this sense are the ecological buildings that generate a regular income. There are times when orders stay in stock for a long time on the platforms instead of being sent to, for instance, to another side of the map where there is plenty of space. Like I said before, each level has small differences. The platforms are arranged in different ways, the buildings are different, and of course the objectives are different as well. Although always in the same line of thought, or this was not a linear title in its progression. It is therefore necessary to check mark any number of orders delivered, increase delivery speed by X numbers of times, and so on. The objectives are just a button press away. So if you don't remember the objectives listed at the beginning of the level, don't worry, just press the button. As soon as the intended objectives for this level are met, the option to continue playing in it or move on to the next one appears. Levels are locked by numbers of stars, so if you're just like me, get ready to replace some levels in this quest to one star. In terms of gameplay, it works very well in portable mode, where everything that appears on the screen can be touched. Each construction can be applied with a simple drag and drop movement. Only the upgrade action can sometimes present some momentary problems, as it is necessary to press that desired building or platform for a few seconds to access the upgrade menu. Everything that is done with a simple click on the screen here is printed by the need to click on the button and use the commands by pointing to the console and dragging it to the desired location. Although with some crashes in the mix, Package Inc. is quite addictive, due to its simple management premise and the pleasant environment it was built in. It's not too complicated, but it does require some attention, as if you miss 10 deliveries, you'll reach the early end of the level. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy this content, please consider to subscribe to the channel, comment or even share with your friends and right now i have some packages to deliver here bye, -bye.